It seems like every time we look up, we're hearing about another shark seen swimming close to the beaches. In just two days, four people were reportedly bitten at beaches on New York's Long Island. And this video shows a shark very close to swimmers uh, at this beach here in Florida. But why? I think a lot of it just has to do with them following the food supply. Whatever they're preying on, you know, they're following that food supply. And um, hammerheads in particular, especially in the Florida Keys and different parts of the coastline. Warmer waters may also contribute. Yeah, as Wink News environmental reporter Liz Byro explains, one researcher is looking way back in time to learn about where we are today. Harry Mace enjoys scuba diving, but it's also work for the FGCU marine vertebrae paleontologist. He hunts for shark teeth in the Gulf of Mexico off Venice Beach and in the Atlantic off the coast of North Carolina. The range in age from about 10 million years to 3.6 million years old. They belong to a megalodon, a prehistoric shark. For size reference, this is a modern day great white shark's tooth next to a megalodon's tooth. The shark was two to three times the size of a large great white today. The enamel can preserve signatures from the ancient oceans, temperature, um, salinity, we can learn about what the animal was even eating, its trophic levels, all from just looking at the enamel in this tooth. Mesh says megalodons existed when the climate was rapidly changing, just like we see today with increasing global and water temperatures. So some of our past uh, geologic time periods or epochs, they're sort of analogs for future climate or where we're headed. So if we can learn about past conditions, then we can sort of interpret what might happen in the future. The biggest discovery from Mesh's study, megalodons were endothermic. It was a warm-blooded animal, um, gigantic warm-blooded animal, high metabolism, needed a lot of food to support that, and that may have led to its downfall because climate change, other stressors, it wasn't able to keep up. Ultimately leading to its extinction millions of years ago. Another shark parallels megalodons, great whites. They're warm blooded too. They are a vulnerable species already um, due to a lot of human impacts, but then you have that climatic impact on top of it where maybe you're changing the temperature of seawater, you're changing where its prey are going and migrating to. Meaning these fossilized teeth have a story to tell. And if history repeats itself, great whites could eventually become extinct. Liz Byro, Wink News.